Hello and welcome in the, how should I say, um, urban farming underground laboratory that's at the Zurich plant nursery in the middle of the city. It's a kind of a little garage here as you look around um, without any windows where I made an installation with mushrooms and, and uh, beetles and edible insects. So these are the mushrooms here, the flamingo oyster mushroom. It's a little bit old so that's why it's getting more and more whitish. In the beginning they are very nice like a color of a flamingo. This is Pleurotus pulmonarius. It's a summer oyster mushroom. Also growing very well, of course, inside of this bag. Uh, there are uh, plastic bags with the um, substrate for the mushroom. Oh, here you see some uh, newly, newly grown flamingo mushrooms. They just come out now here. Also here, some fresher ones. So that's a mushroom factory here at the moment. And I also made a little installation for a mushroom that is very well known in China. It's a Reishi. It's Gonoderma lucidum. It's a mushroom that is very well known for its medicinal uh, properties. But this one went wrong. So we also have to admit that we make mistakes and faults. So this hasn't grown. I don't know why exactly, because last time I made the same thing uh, in Lausanne. It grew very nice. But here you can see the substrate uh, is covered with mold, so that cannot grow uh, as a mushroom here. So I have to restart this. But probably in the next video you will see it. What is here is uh, the place where we grow Samia Rizzini, the airy silk worm. Here you see one. Um, it's a plant uh, lamp in here. So that uh, Prunus laurocerasus, the cherry laurel can grow here and the caterpillars can eat from them. So also in the winter, today is the 2nd of January, so also, in, also in the winter uh, they can grow here. These are the mushrooms out of the bottle. Here you see that the Pleurotus is coming out here. This is already a little bit an older one, but there are some new mushrooms coming. We have to heat here a little bit because uh, without the temperature around 18, 15, 18 degrees, uh, there wouldn't grow any mushrooms here. Now this is the beetle. Uh, where we, this is the place where we uh, grow Mechunorina polyphemus in some uh, old plant material, leaves and things. We will have a look uh, later into this place. And what we see here is the production of Phalacrognathus mulleri from Queensland, Australia, in these uh, hanging bottles. They have been now here for around eight months. First, when I put them in, this was a, a bottle filled with kimchi, with one larva in each of the bottles. And today we will see what happened here. If we can go closer, we see here there is already a, a beetle in there came out of the pupil, uh, of the pupa here. Also, I think this here, yes, we, we see like through a little window into the, into the bottle. And also here, if we have, if we are lucky, we see that there's a beetle already in the bottle. But also there are some that freshly came out, like in this bottle here. But they are now too fresh out of the pupa, so we leave them a little bit in here until we see the shiny metallic surface. surface. Also, here's a, a big pupal chamber that you can see, but I think this is still a pupa, so it practically covers the whole button of the. Or, or it died sometimes. It's a difficult place for breeding beetles. Why? Because the temperatures change. They go up and down here and that can cause some um, wet
place is in here. One of them also is is uh, is destroyed by earthworms. So that's always the problem with breeding of this uh, beetle. So let's see whether we can take out one of the beetles from from this box. I think. So I need a, a knife. You know. Well, and then. Just try to make a little bit more light from this side. So of course we can, it, because we know there's only one, only one larva in here, so there can be also only one beetles. Beetle, we don't have to be afraid that we cut it in pieces. Look, it's a, a nice female here. Yeah, there she is. Phalacrognathus milleri, so let's make a little bit more, more light here. Beautiful female. You see the legs here in the back, they, they don't move, they, they are, that's a sign that uh, they just came out. But interesting how she wants to take me with her four legs here. Of course they can also, with the mandibles if they want, they can cut you in the finger. Nice one, what do we do with them? At first we I'll leave it here in the box, of course. Now let's let's see if we find a male also in the second box. I think it was this one, huh? Yes, here looks like something going on here on the bottom. Also, so it's interesting that the larva they were in this bottle here eight months, and let's see. I need some more hands. I, it's not enough, two hands, to make a film and to cut the bot bottle open. This is not enough. I know that there are some pictures from, from India with these people with four hands. I, I need something like this. Okay. Oh, here. Oh, look, it's also a female. Yeah, let's see. Oh, I can, of course. <laughs> okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But this is a bit too early that we took it out. Look at this. It's just. It's just uh, in the stage of folding the wings underneath the elytras. So um, we should leave her for one, two days separate so that she can fold and finish folding her wings and of course covering them with the elytras afterwards. But it's nice and big females for Phalacrognathus milleri, so they had a good place here to grow. And also the first two Females are out, the others, sometimes you can see that there's still a larva or a pupa in there from outside. And these we don't touch. For example here, you can see inside, it's a pupa in this, uh, and it's, you can already see that this is female because this is the head here on this side. And it has only these two small mandibles, so we of course leave them here. But I have another male here in this box, so that we found two days ago. Let's see where we find them. Oh, here, yeah, this is a really nice one. Look at this beautiful size of it. 
difficult to film because the colors of this metallic surface, they can hardly be uh, filmed because they're only glossy and as soon as you film them they look like black but they are not black they are shiny dark metallic red green so let's see whether we just put these two females together with this male this one we have two that's the one that is not yet finished there wings but this female here is okay so also it's a, a very big female also this one here probably we just put her back here to her original chamber this place here so she can finish folding her wings in this purple chamber here Yes, that's about Falacognatus Mulleri. If you want to see what happened in here with Mechunorina polyphemus, uh, we may cut it here and we take out all the material and in two minutes uh, we will know whether there are still some larvae in here. Yep. So the first part of the leaf material uh, is out. What we see here is it it's, uh, has a lot of uh, fresh pellets in here. So there should be some activities, also we found one a lot of in a bad mood, it doesn't move, it's a bit, uh, it's not so, it's a little bit fluffy, so this is not a good sign, but here if we, if we look down here you can see that there's a larva here, this looks very well, the nice Mecrinorina polyphemus and of course this one now we, you see the difference also between these two this looks very if you touch it it's a diff, big difference to this one yeah we have to see whether we find some more here uh, we also have some boxes to put them in here yeah. So we can count how many of them are still here. I think the, this is the bottom of the, here's another one, it's the bottom of this, uh, and here's a little bit, yeah here's another one, it's uh, wet on the bottom so that's good, but also here's a dead one, this probably also was a, uh, yeah, it was probably too, for them, it was probably too cold also here. Because there's a, there's a heating mat that we put into the, to this, uh, things about 10, uh, 20 watts. That's not a lot of heat, but this we should put exactly to the bottom of the, of the place here. So that it's not too cold here in the winter time. Let's see what we find here. Here's another. Ah, oh, two. They are. They look. They look nice here. Both of them. Yeah. So we already have five. They are all. All. All of them are in the same. Here's another one. You can't touch them, but I feel that they are pretty cold here. So that's probably now the critical thing about the breeding of this. Uh, but they look not bad here, but I think they should get a little bit warmer here. So look how many we have already. But no pupas yet, huh? N no. No signs of pupation here. Yeah. Oh, here's another one. I just put the substrate from one side to the other.
Oh, here's a very small one. Here's a dead one, another one. Dead. Oh. Normally they are very robust, they, they, are, they can be kept very easily, but this seems to be a challenging place for them. Another one. Also, So there are no pupa here, only larvas. But this look not too for that well. Not bad. So we will probably add some new and a little bit wetter material for them, like this one here. Kind of a flake soil with leaves and this can be a good ground for them. To start pupating at this one, I think it just put, put it to the bottom of the box so that they can choose themselves where they want to where they want to go. And it, it can't heat up too much because it's only 20 watts, so that's not a big danger for them. I also said that this is kind of like a, a artificial hollow tree, you know, this uh, um, this place where you, where you can put the leaves of your garden in and just wait until they have finished the process. Here there are already some new some new larvas. But you, you see the difference between this new one and the and the old ones. They are fat, and this is a bit transparent, so you know that this is a younger one still eating. And they here, they should be ready for pupation. They look great here, and we just cover them here like this. And that's it. And if you want to see it, come to Zurich to the. Zurich plant nursery to see the the place where we grow beetles in this urban farming laboratory. Thanks for watching.